I want to become the best version of myself. And why is that? Because, because I was shown that I could be a better version of myself. And I'm going to try to be. You know, I might stumble, I might fall, but hopefully one day I'll uh, join my predecessors in the sun and maybe uh, one day we could accomplish some wonders together, you know? Um, I hope you like and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me, and I hope you enjoy it. and I'll try to get to more uh, action-packed episodes coming up, but I just wanted to share that a little bit with you today, because uh, that's what I was reflecting on. Hello one and all, how are you all doing today? So today is day 10 of my 365 day body challenge. And for those of you unfamiliar, um, after a, after basically like a, being injured for a year and a half, I'm now trying to get back into the best shape of my life. I am trying. And so I'm dedicating my time to doing a little bit of exercise each day. And that's, you know, I, I'm not dedicating all day to it as of yet, but right now I'm just doing, you know, an hour or so of exercise a day each day for 365 days with the exception of uh, rest days. Uh, which I um, right now I'm taking every every fifth day, so four days of exercise and one day of rest. And um, so to catch you up real quick, I, I want to talk about the title of today's episode: What I Learned from Running Ultra Marathons. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But right now, I'd like to talk about uh, the exercise I did today. You know, I did my my push-ups. Like I said, uh, I do 80 a day. Sometimes I do 160, and I basically do five, then 10, then 15, then 20 then 15, then 10, then five, and uh, so forth, you know, uh, and it, uh, it's a really great workout, it's a really great calisthenics, it works great in the absence of a bench, um, so I'm not benching right now, so that's what I'm doing. Separate from that, I do need to do my squats today, and I need to stick to my cardio, because not not, not this right here, but separate from that, I do have some, some uh, extra weight around the midsection that I'm hoping to get rid of, and when we get rid of that with, uh, you know, five days of cardio, maybe 30 minutes a day, uh, you know, I should be in good shape in, uh, in a few more weeks. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, again, this is just, you know, is a silly way for me to spend time and that's okay. You know, I, 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 you know, I'm enjoying talking to you guys. I'm enjoying getting in shape and I'm enjoying uh, taking care of myself. So that's what I'm uh, doing right now. I have a little glitter right here. Oh my God. And I'll tell you why in a second. But uh, back to uh, the, the bling right here, back to all this hardware. So over the over the quarantine, you know, I did a number of virtual races, and I did them with companies like um, Yes Fit, Yes Fit, and uh, also also Pacer, and they have really great programs. You know, you pick out a medal you'd like, and uh, you you are either responsible for entering your miles directly, or uh, you can sync yourself with the app, and it'll keep track of all your progress as you're walking or jogging or running with your phone. And it's a really great way to stay motivated, stay fit. And again, um, what's really cool about this is, uh, for instance, like right here, right? They send you through these little virtual courses. And like this one's for London. So for the London one, they sent me through a virtual course of London um, where I was I was moving at my leisure uh, here, here in my uh, own area during the quarantine. And... Um, but online, you know, they keep track of your miles as you were going, and they would show you a virtual course of all the all the stops you were passing along the way, and they would usually include information about the area in which you're running, you know, the area in which you're virtually running. So it's a great way to learn about different cultures. It's a great way to stay fit, and it's a great way to uh, just. Uh, yeah, just stay motivated. And no, I'm not being sponsored by them right now. I just think it's a great program, so I hope you enjoy that. And uh, now let's talk about what I learned doing ultra marathons, right? Not all of these are for marathons. Some of them were, but some of them were like for, for instance, like, uh, shoot. Uh, I don't know. But like a couple of these were for like very long, long, long distances. So let's say like, um, I don't know, 60, 70 miles, right? And uh, sometimes I would do those in like two days, you know, or I do like 40 miles in a day. And um, I didn't do that all the time because I'm not gonna lie, uh, the, you know, you run the risk of injury when you're doing such long distances. Um, my goal was to see if I can do it untrained, which I, uh, you know, I did to the best of my ability. By the end, I was hobbling. I was hobbling along, but I was still uh, doing it. And I wanna I wanna talk about one one instance real quick where um, it was when I was going 40 miles in a day, right? And 
It was, uh, you know, it was challenging, obviously. You know, I'm not a trained runner. I kind of do this for fun, and uh, I don't have, like, a trainer. I haven't really, like, looked up techniques and stuff. But, so I'm doing this thing, and I'm, again, I'm doing it to see if I can do it, just to, just to push myself, just to go, uh, just to go the distance, you know, just to uh, let me know that I could do it, you know. But something comes up when you're in the middle of these races, if you're going for a long time, you know, and I think this is beneficial for either running, walking, jogging, extensive exercise of any kind, if you keep going, you know? Uh, and I, I don't mean like heavy weightlifting where you could like drop something on yourself, but I mean like, you know, calisthenic moving, like holding a plank for exceptionally long time or whatever. But as I'm going, uh, you know, past the marathon marker, which is 26.2 miles, as I'm going past that, I keep going and eventually I get to the point where I'm just asking myself, why are you doing this? And it wasn't like once or twice in my mind, right? Like when you do enough movement, you'll start to ask yourself again and again and again, why are you doing this? 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 Because your body desperately wants you to stop. And I'm not recommending any of you that you do this. I think if you want to do something like this, you know, check out David Goggins. He'll be able to tell you better than I can. But, um... You know, so you have to come up with an answer. You keep telling yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? And the answer I came up with came from the Matrix, uh, the third Matrix. They said, why do you persist, Mr. Anderson? Why do you persist? Why do you fight me? You know, is it, is it, uh, you know, freedom? Is it choice? Is it love? Is it, what is it? Why are you doing this? And the answer he came up with is because I choose to. Because I choose to. You know, there are a lot of things that are in this world where we don't have a choice whether or not it happens to us, but we always have the choice of how we respond. And that's what I learned during my ultra marathons, you know. I could have quit at any time, I could have stopped at any time. I mean, there, I wasn't doing this for anyone, you know, rather than just to see that I could do it, but I set goals for myself, and then I did them. And as I was going, on an additional, you know, uh, 15 miles after the marathon or whatever it was I uh, I said why are you doing this why are you doing this and it's, the answer is because because I choose to you know whether I'm running jogging walking or hobbling you know I was getting it done for me because because I can because I choose to because I will I will I must you know, I am, uh, I, I have the, the, I think uh, Nietzsche called it the will to power, you know. And uh, again, this can be seen in a lot of uh, uh, pop media, you know, like Watchmen, you know, the, the character Ozymandias, he had the will to power, which means, you know, like Batman has the will to power, where you're just continuously going through a situation. And, and I'm not telling you to do this because you run a very real risk of injuring yourself, you know. But what I'm saying is that when you're in a situation where you don't know if you can, you don't know if you can, you don't know if you can, and you're afraid to, go through it. Choose to do it and go through it because that's what you want. And there's better stuff at the end of the road. So that's my message to you today. I hope you all take care. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I uh, love you all. Take care. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and uh, I love you all. Take care. Peace.